Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm actually going to do an update on two of my project pans that I have going on right now. I'm going to update my Seven Deadly Sins project pan or Seven Deadly Pans, hashtag Seven Deadly Pans project pan. And I'm also going to update my 8 by Easter project pan that I kind of added in with, with Courtney K and Shay from Lipstick Lashes and Wine. So I'm going to do those two quick updates right now. Honestly, I didn't use up as much product as I wanted to, and I haven't finished anything yet, unfortunately. I'm really working on it, but so far, just, you know, keep making progress, and I'm still trying to continue to use the items that I have in these project pans, but let's go ahead and start with the Seven Deadly Pans project pan. So the first one I have is Lust, and that was the Pure Silk Shave Cream and the Burt's Bees Body Lotion. I have a line here on my Burt's Bees. The lowermost one down here is my one from today, so I've gotten a lot of progress on that. I have no way to mark this, but I have used it a couple times. I have to like force myself to use it. I really don't want to use it, but I took a bath the other day and I used that because I knew I needed to use it again. So the last time I checked in, they were at 434 grams together. And this time I just weighed them today and they weigh 357 grams together. So I know a lot of that is obviously coming from the lotion, but like I said, I have used the shave cream and I am bound and determined to finish up that sh darn shave cream by July. I am so sick of it. I want it out of my shower. It's driving me crazy. Anyways, hopefully it'll be done. The next item I have is for Envy and I have the Butter London Nail Polish in the shade Yummy Mummy. I think I'm going to end up decluttering this after this um, project is over. It seems that every single time I wear specifically this nail polish, my ends, the ends of my nails are like ripping off, like literally tearing off. Not like the whole nail, but like the top layer of my nail is tearing off and I don't know it doesn't seem like any other nail polish has done that to me except for this one, so yeah. The next item I have is for Vanity, and I have the Balm Voyage number two, volume two highlighter in Kukorobishka, whatever. Anyways, you guys can see that I've really made significant progress on this highlighter. There's no pan showing yet, but I'm sure that I will have pan for sure by the end of this project. This is the highlighter that I'm wearing today and I really do enjoy this one. Oh, and the nail polish is at still at 57 grams. That's the same as it was last time. I have used it, so I'm not sure why it's not going down, but it's still at 57 grams. And my little highlighter is still at nine grams, which honestly, I feel like the whole nine grams is in the packaging, but who knows? But it says that there are 0.6 grams of useful product in here. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The next items I have are for Wrath, and these are the two liquid eyeliners. I don't use them very often, but the Laura Geller one is down from 9 grams to 6 grams, and this one I just put it in the last time, but I haven't used it yet because I'm still trying to finish up this one. And then is the this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Paris Liner Noir Liquid Eyeliner. I don't know. It's supposed to be like super good. I don't know. Who knows? I'm gonna try it out a little bit more, but this one's starting at six grams. So I plan on having them both used up by the end of this project. So one item that is going extremely slow is in the category sloth, which I knew that would happen, but this is the Neutrogena Moisture Stick Color Stick in the shade 110 Almond Nude. I really do like this color, and honestly, I've only used it a couple times since my last check-in, so I don't have a lot of progress there, and it's still at 14 grams, which is what it was at in the last update. The next item I have is for Gluttony, and that is the Real Her Do Your Squats palette. And I'm so proud to say I have been using this so much. I took it with me to Florida. I used it a ton. I don't use it solely. Like, I tend to pair this palette with other palettes because I really, really love these matte dark shades. I honestly wish this entire palette was different shades of matte semi-dark to dark dark shades and I think this palette would be the perfect 
palette to add in with any palette that you have, but I've been typically adding this in with my Too Faced um, Chocolate Gold palette. They make the perfect combination. I don't know what it is about the two, but I'm really, really enjoying this palette a lot. And this palette went down from 130 grams the last time I checked in, and now it's at 128 grams. I don't know if I actually use two grams of product, but it's definitely possible because I have been using this like crazy, truly, and I love it, so why not? Very last item I have for you guys in the Seven Deadly Pans Project Pan update is the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer, and this is for Greed. It's green. I haven't used it at all since my other check-in the last time. Honestly, I have not been reaching for this because my skin has been so dry. So I'm reaching for the Becca First Light Priming Filter in the purple, and I've been loving that. So this is definitely going to get more use coming to the end of the project, and I still plan on using this up. I don't see an issue with being able to use this up at all. So when I first started this project, it was at 68 grams, and the last check-in, it was at 65 grams, and it is still at 65 grams because, like I said, I haven't used it at all. So there's that. So all in all for this Seven Deadly Pans project pan, I feel like I'm doing okay. <laughs> I definitely think I can get that highlighter a good significant amount of pan showing on the highlighter. I think that these will both be gone by the end of the project. I think that these two liquid eyeliners are definitely going to be gone by the end of the project. And also this tone adjusting primer is going to be gone by the end of the project. I also want to make some significant usage in this palette. I can show you guys a close up here, but you're really not going to see very many dips or anything just because the way that it's set up, it really doesn't show anything. But I am, like I said, really enjoying using this palette. Even this terrific shade that's like a dark burgundy cranberry brown, and it's got like a gold glimmer, a gold glitter in it. I'm actually enjoying that color even. So. Yeah, I'm going to keep using this, get some more use out of this, and just keep enjoying it. So that is the conclusion of my 7 Deadly Pans project pan. And if you're only here for the 8 by Easter project pan update, I'm going to start that right now. So the first item in the 8 by Easter is the Wim Nail Lacquer in the shade Marshmallow Mousse. And this is my shade for Bunny. And I have been enjoying this white nail polish. It doesn't last very long on my nails. I think it's just because it's old, but I have really been enjoying it. I actually plan on painting my nails with it tonight. When I first started this project, it was at 57 grams. And then my last update, it was at 54 grams, and now it is at 51 grams. So I think that it's been two uses between each check-in. So I'm pretty sure two uses equals about three grams. So. I think that's pretty good and I can actually see a line where I put a line here showing you guys where I am. I thought it was a lot further than that but honestly when it settled that's where I could see it so I have a lot to go on this product. I'm going to start using this on my nails or my toenails as well. So for pastel, I have my two Becca First Light Priming Filters. This one is almost gone. I can see the line of it now and then this one. Oh my gosh, I'll, I'll have to mark these really quick, hold on. Okay, so I was marking how many uses I was getting out of each of these bottles, but honestly, I forgot to continue doing that. Um, but here is my lines for each of those. This one with the higher line, I actually took with me to Florida, and this one I left here. So I plan on getting both of these used up. I have been preferring this one over my green e.l.f. tone adjusting primer just because this is a lot more hydrating and better for my skin in the winter. But I want to get these used up before the summer months because my skin's going to get really oily in the summer like it always does. So I have been enjoying this. And unfortunately, it's still at 17 grams. I started with 20 grams in these together, and then it went down to 17 the last time. And I've used it so many times, I don't know how it hasn't gone down. Um, but it's still at 17 grams, so... I'll just keep using them. I love these. This item was for Easter Basket, and that is my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint in the shade 40 Nude. And I didn't use this at all since the last update, <laughs> to be totally honest. Like, I just, I don't know. I just don't want to use it right now. And I'm just really not into liquid, or liquid foundations. 
at all. You guys know that. I, that's why I put that in here to try to use this and I definitely don't think I'm going to be able to use it up in this project, but I really want to get some significant use out of it. So I'm going to work a little bit harder at trying to make sure I put this in my foundation routine. When I first started this project, this was at 88 grams. The last check-in I had was 85 grams, and obviously since I haven't used it, it is still at 85 grams. So as you guys know, I did previously have a Ma uh, Makeup Geek blush in Infatuation for my chocolate category, and I have since taken that out of this project I don't like that blush and I'm not gonna force myself to use something that I don't like so I did end up putting the Maybelline Great Lash mascara in there and this is in the shade brownish black and honestly I haven't used this one at all at all this was one I use typically for my no makeup makeup days when I literally don't have any makeup on and I just curl my eyelashes and put a little mascara in and I haven't done that I haven't felt the need to. So when I added this in in the last update, this was at 26 grams and obviously it is still at 26 grams because I have not used it. The next item I have is for Jelly Bean. And that is my Wet n Wild Ticket to Brazil bronzer. And I have been using this like crazy, you guys. Like, look at that. Like, the sun is completely rubbed off except for a little bit down here. You can definitely start to see the little rivets of the pan. I cannot believe that I have not hit pan yet on here. Not to mention the fact that the grams haven't gone down at all. What? I have used this so many times, I can't even tell you. Just the times that I remembered to mark here on the back, I have seven marks here on the back. That is not even close to the amount of times that I've actually used this, and I typically tend to use this one all down my chest and my arms if I'm wearing like a tank top or a like a really sloopy, slouchy shirt, sloopy? A really slouchy shirt, I will, you know, warm up my chest a little bit. But yeah, this is still at 71 grams, which I cannot believe, but I do feel good that I'm getting so much use out of this. And since I've gotten my tan from Florida, it looks so much better on my skin and my skin tone. It doesn't look as orange on me, which that's why I bought this because it didn't look orange on me. And then when I, when my skin gets really, really white in the winter time, it looks super orange. So this is definitely a summer bronzer for me. Okay, and now my two colors from my Urban Decay Vice Reloaded palette, and those were the categories of flower, which was the yellow color, and spring, which was the green color, and here is my palette now. Spring is right here, and flower is right here. So to be completely honest, I haven't used those two colors very much. I have used the green one quite a few times. The yellow one, I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't really want to use it. But what I will tell you is how much I've been loving this palette as a whole. So I cannot stop using this shade Suspend. It's right here. It's like a gray toned um, transition shade for me and I have used that shade so many times. I've used the purples in here, I've used the pink, I've used the red, I've used this like dark green color, I've used this one here. I've really been enjoying this palette in general, like just using it and being able to enjoy it. To be completely honest, they're not the most pigmented and the most blendable shades ever and I think that's simply because it's getting old so I am super happy that I threw this into the project pan so that I can get more use out of the palette as a whole because when I go in here to look at certain colors I typically go for this suspend color and then I'm like hmm what will go good with that and then I just kind of build it from there so I have been really enjoying this palette. I'm really glad I did not declutter it last year when I was going to, but it's definitely getting towards the end of its life with the pigmentation and the blendability of the shadows. And the very last item that I have is my ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Cami, and it is a matte X formula. This was the topic of Easter egg, and here is how much I have left. I still have a lot left. Honestly, I haven't used this as many times as I thought I would. I'm trying out a ton of different lipsticks and lipstick brands and shades and finishes right now. 
So I haven't been using this along with the fact that I have my lipstick roulette and that update is coming up very, very soon for you guys. But I have that going on too, so I'm really trying to get some stuff out of my collection that I know I don't, you know, I'm not going to wear, I don't like for whatever reason. So using this has been a little bit of a struggle for me in that sense, but I still really love this shade, so I'm not going to be getting rid of it. I'm just going to enjoy using it when I do and go from there. So all in all, in this whole project pan update, I feel like I'm not really making as much progress as I want to be making, but, but I have had a couple weeks where I was feeling really down, I wasn't wearing makeup, I wasn't, you know, doing anything really. I was just, you know, really feeling the seasons and feeling that winter, you know, lull, basically. And now I feel like I'm really on a kick to start getting things moving again and I'm feeling super motivated at my house, at my work, at, you know, just everything in general with videos and stuff like that. But I do feel like I want to start taking my channel in not a fully different direction, but I really want to start focusing on saving money instead of spending money. I know I just put up a haul. Trust me, I know. That was before all of these thoughts are coming into my head. But even with my Bob series, like I feel like I'm almost scared to write down what I've purchased because I'm not supposed to be purchasing things. And I know that the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale is coming up and that is gonna be my final purchases before I go on a six month no buy until the Sephora um, VIB sale that comes in the fall. So. That is my plan and I plan to keep doing project panning so that I can really get a lot of use out of the items that are in my collection currently because I don't want to keep buying new when I'm not even using what I have. And I really love a lot of my items that I have in my collection so why not love them and enjoy them and use them to their full potential. So. That is my plan. I plan to do my update for this one. It's going to be the finale for the 8 by Easter coming on um, April 1st, and that's Easter Day. And no, it's not going to be a fool. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> and then I plan on doing my hashtag 7 Deadly Pants update on the 7th of the month next time. So. Hopefully everything will be back to normal and I'll be back to my regular schedule of getting, you know, three to four videos out a week. And thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this. I know that everybody gets this kind of, you know, dull period, but I'm really feeling motivated again. I'm feeling inspired. I'm feeling like I'm ready to make some videos and get up some good content and really just enjoy what I'm doing because sometimes you forget that, you know, this is for fun. and. When I'm not having fun doing it, why am I doing it at all? So I really had to sit down and think, do I even want to keep doing this? Do I want to continue to enjoy this and do this? And Or should I just make, a, make makeup like my own thing and just do it on my own? But then I realized like I really do enjoy putting content out there and getting to know other YouTubers and getting to know subscribers and what you guys think and what your opinions are because they are so important. <laughs> a lot of the times you guys have the best opinions ever. So anyways, that was my whole spiel for life right now. But I plan on doing like a life update here soon. I want to do a um, 2018 resolutions update for you guys to see where I'm at this year so far. But anyways, thank you guys so much for sticking around and letting me do this double update at one time. So sorry, but this seemed to be the most efficient way to do it for me. So yeah, um, I don't know what else to say, but I really appreciate all of you guys coming back here and let me know what you guys want to see next. I have a lot of different videos that I want to put up, so if there's anything specific that you'd like to see, please let me know and I will, you know, check it out and put a list together on what I want to do. So anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye!